three. We're back to the Neil Haley show and I am excited to talk to this man. And, you know, I am amazed at how he kind of transformed his life in a way and changed it after working the corporate world for so long and choosing to find a way to decrease stress and live a more happy life. So I'm excited to welcome the program, Adam Weber. Adam, thanks for calling. How are you? Hi, Neil. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. All right. So let's talk about it, you know, really quickly, Adam, why, what was your aha moment that you said you needed to really try to decrease the amount of stress you're under and things like that? What was that aha moment? The aha moment was when I was diagnosed after being in the corporate world for so long was being di diagnosed with multiple sclerosis oh my and realizing that even when I was on the road or at home, simply going to the gym or going for a run was not going to work for me anymore because of the disability I had actually developed and the inability to walk without a cane or a walker. So I, I knew I needed an alternative approach. And I said, you know what, I got to give meditation a try. Um, because as a son of a doctor, I was constantly being fed with lots of medications. And those were making me even more sick. In fact, the doctors believe that's one of the reasons I got as sick as I did, because too much medication can actually eat away at your gut. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing is that um, so the stress led to medication and then that caused a lot of health, health concerns then, right? Because you were so stressed out. It's a, such a go, go, go world in corporate. You said you were traveling a lot, right? I was traveling a lot, a lot. I was always on the road, even if it was locally in a car or, you know, staying over a couple States away or something like that. I'd spend hours in the car and then I'd get back to the hotel and I'd be writing reports all night long. And, and, and once I got to back to my office or my home office, uh, cause I was based out in New York and Northern New Jersey, I would be doing the same thing. So it was a, a, a perpetual, I, I was like a hamster on a wheel. I never slowed down. Never slowed down. And that that's, 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 and you felt it, you felt it in your body. So the aha moment is diagnosed with MS. What did you do when that happened? How did you slow down your life and say, no, I'm going to do things that make me happy, but yet, and, and do something, but I have to stop doing what I was doing before. Well, the truth is the physical disability that I was developing is what really pushed me over the edge. I had no choice. Right. I had no choice. It wasn't a shoulda, coulda, or maybe I'll try it. It was a, there was no alternative. Right. Okay. To doing it. And so what measures did you put in place? Did you have an idea what measures to put in place once you did, you decide you're going to. Uh, oh, I did. I just had not been actively using them. It was mm -hmm. a matter of meditating daily, mm -hmm. eating a, 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 a better diet, uh, a, you know, it, one thing it's called is the elimination diet, eliminating a lot of foods and a lot of things that call stress that cause stress out of out of our lives. Right. I mean, some people call the elimination diet just a food diet. It's really a matter of eliminating certain behaviors, eliminating certain people, eliminating certain a lot of things in general. Uh, because you know it, it's not necessarily what you add that helps you, but it's what you eliminate that helps you. Yes, and that's so true. And what, whatever you eliminate is going to uh, make you feel better because and, and adding extra things to the plate just causes more stress, right? If you'd say, okay, I'm going to add all these other specific things. So it's more subtract than add. Because let's say you keep doing all those things that you're doing that are wrong, but you add some things that are doing good, like add meditation, but that yet don't even have a proper diet, right? Add another thing of, you know, listening to inspiring people and spending some time in relaxed mode, but yet you're still doing that same schedule. It's not going to work, right? Exactly. And as a Canfield trainer, I knew the formula E plus R equals O was a transformative uh, formula. And it was something that I had thought about and used somewhat, but not used like I should have been using. Yes. And so you knew it but yet you didn't follow it. And how much do we do that, Adam, all the time? We have, daily in our lives. we have all these great tools in our hands and we just don't do them. We just go with what we feel is gonna be the easiest and we don't think about. 
Yeah, no, we have a toolkit just by nature and things we learn as we grow up, as we adult, um, as we marry and have kids, we learn all sorts of things. The problem is, do we implement those things? And usually it's not until we absolutely need to implement those things and we do that we actually see the results we're looking for. So should we write down, if we know we want to decrease our stress, should we write down on a daily basis what we're doing and see what is a negative effect to our lives? That is a perfect way of framing it. Write it down and then take that list and cross out the things that are either causing you stress or exasperating stress you actually have, making the, you know, your life worse, making your body worse, making your mind worse, causing you to lose sleep, causing problems with relationships, all sorts of stuff like that. And, and we're not going to ever eliminate stress, but we can decrease it for sure. You can never 100% eliminate stress. There are some people who say you can, but I've spoken to doctors. I've spoken to all sorts of people and they say, as much as I try, I've never been able to, and even I can't. I mean, it's a, getting up to take the kids to school or to make sure I'm on. You're gonna have, they're going to always have that horrible day. You're always going to have that thing that hits a diagnosis like you're dealing with or a divorce or a, you know, a loss of a loved one. You, it's how you deal with it on many things that are easy measures, you know, eating healthy, working out, meditating, uh, spending time for yourself. All these things are implemented. Things are going to go much better. You're, you, you and I are talking off air. You're going to have a book coming out in 2022. Tell me about what the book's going, the name of the book. The book, I haven't actually come down with the final name yet, um, but it, it's a follow-up to my book, me, my bestseller, actually, Meditation Not Medicine. And it's really about helping people escape their stress utilizing meditation versus having to take the pills. And that one, I call the one-size-fits-all approach of, of taking pills. Okay, I agree. And that's where you really need to look at natural medicine versus physical medicine even though it's going to be a band-aid it's never going to be the solution all right well we appreciate you coming by adam and uh, you're definitely inspiring all of us with ms and your energy level and doing all those different things stay healthy keep going and, and decrease your stress and uh, thanks for coming on the show i appreciate it thanks a lot neil i appreciate right, your time you're welcome bye-bye you're listening and watching the neil haley show and we'll be back in just a moment